Hello everybody, I am Super Mario Sonic Lover, and finally, welcome to Let's Replay Sonic Adventure DX. Oh man, this brings Select. back so many, uh... Select a file. Wait, hold on. Is it fine? Let me check for a sec. Select a file. Alright, I was gonna say, I thought it was already screwing up the recording, but never mind. Um, first things first, well, we might as well delete this one, because it's... Only 49 emblems, that's freaking pathetic. <laughs> but, yeah, okay, so. Oh, yeah, I remember, like, on that file, um, that was the file I think I first used when I played this, played this game, and one emblem, and that was purely because of Big. Because, yeah, trying to get uh, emblem, uh, Big's extra emblems sucks. Like, it sucks really bad. But, the yeah, obviously we're going to start off here with Sonic, because you can't play as anyone else right now. But yeah, th this game does uh, hold quite a, quite an interesting, uh, like, memory for me, like, because I, I remember in this, I was in the store, the a game store one time, I can't remember which, but I saw Sonic Adventure DX just lying there, so I was like, Oh, oh, can I, uh, can I get this, uh, mum, or, and all that, <laughs> and then, it was interesting when I played it, because, at the time, um, I, I was watching, uh, through Sonic X, and they were doing the adventure adaptations, um, and I had no idea that, uh, Sonic X, Sonic X, Sonic X was adapting the adventure games, and I thought it was the other way around. I thought Adventure was trying to be like Sonic X, so it was it was kind of weird for me at the time because I was like, "Oh, cool! This is like a this is like Sonic X. I I really like this because at the time I thought Sonic X was actually a, a really good show. Like now I can see the flaws with it. I still consider it kind of a guilty pleasure to an extent, but it's really kind of hard for me to go back to like Japan. If I watch the Japanese version, it's at best okay to decent, but yeah, the English version is kind of bad, but um, yeah, it's an interesting way to get introduced to the adventure games, um, and I, I, always, I always enjoy these games, I, I, I kind of hate the fact that these games are kind of... Like, what would you call it? They've kind of been shown or like written off as pretty bad games as of late, like really like kind of glitchy and um, overall unpolished games. Which I SA One, to be fair, can be a pretty unpolished game at times, but I don't think it's 06 unpolished. Like the game still functions fine for the most part. Um, like it does what it needs to do, and the gameplay overall is still fun. Uh, the thing with 06 is that, yeah, it's broken, but it's also not fun, regardless of that. Like, 06, with, with 06, the glitches are, like, that's, like, the least of my problems. Um, it doesn't, if the glitches weren't there, it wouldn't fix the fact that the gameplay is generally pretty boring, and there's all these other problems, like the loading hey, times, the, uh, time. the, uh, the slowness of the characters, the tediousness of the level design, and... Just all this other crap that it, really people who fit who say, "Oh, if the glitches, uh, if the glitches are removed, it would make 06 good." Like, no, you need to really step, take, take, take a step back, on, look at what Sonic trip. 06 is, and going? really, you can't honestly tell me that it would be good without just without the glitches. There's a lot more to it than that. But either way, I'm not on that. I'm not going to go on that run. Uh, for too much longer because you already you've already uh, seen me play 06 um, twice if you see you know if you've nothing, seen C's brain then you've seen me, me go for it twice um, but yeah <laughs> <sighs> because it's interesting because like I think I don't I know for a fact this wasn't one of my first Sonic games, well, it, it was, but, eh, okay, let me go, let me get to the, go to the start with this, um, my, my first Sonic game was either 3D Blast, huh? yes, I know that's a 
terrible game to start off with, but it was that. Um, Freaking, what was it? Heroes. And a little bit of time after that, it was Mega Collection. And I think after that was uh, <coughs> SA1. And then as time passed, I got Dr Gems Collection uh, because I played it at a friend's house once and I thought it was fun. And same with Shadow, funnily enough. Like, I, I, for some reason, I thought it was a a good game back then because I played it at a friend's house, um, did the multiplayer and saw him play some of the uh, regular stages and I thought, oh this looks like a fun game, I'll, I'll uh, pick it up I guess, <laughs> I don't know, but yeah I, I was a stupid kid, <laughs> but um, yeah, Any, uh, anyways enough of that. This is a uh, pretty uh, good like transition from, from 2D to 3D in my opinion, like the uh, movement is pretty solid for the most part, like, it's, again, it's not the most polished, like, you can kind of glitch around with a spin dash quite easily, but I think it was a decent first attempt, like, the physics are really, uh, feel really good, they feel pretty close to the classics, as you can see, kind of see there, and it just, it just kind of feels good to, uh, find, rev up the spin dash and, like, jump off a jump over an incline basically and then go really high up to find like a shortcut or a hidden box or something like that. It's really fun to kind of explore in this game. It's nowhere near as open as some people like to make it out to be because I've heard that pe when it comes to the adventure games people like to give SA1 a lot more credit in the um, I guess adventure aspect. Haha. <laughs> I know but um yeah, I, I can definitely see that SA1 has more uh, more of an exploration factor for for the most part, but is is it really that much bit like bigger? Because like when you can compare both Sonic and Shadow levels to Sonic levels in SA1, they're really the ones in this game really aren't that much like wide out, aren't that much wider and or anything like that. And I just kind of fell, just kind of fell. So, um, yeah, again, this game isn't perfect, I won't, I will, I won't say it is, because, yeah, there are stuff, ha stuff, some of the stuff that happens that can be kind of weird, but hopefully it won't be too game, too many game breaking glitches will occur, because most of the time when I play this game, it's pretty solid for the most part, um, you just kind of have to make sure you don't, like, go too crazy with the spin dash or something like that but yeah as I was saying though like um, a lot of people say that SA1 has more a lot more uh, alternate paths and uh, honestly it's kind of kind of hard to say that because um, after replaying this game for actually no I didn't oh well I, I did a playthrough uh, for fifth gen but I didn't ever upload that and I don't think I will at this point because fifth gen is kind of dead at this point to be honest but um yeah after doing that I really did I really didn't feel much of a difference from SA2 in terms of like how big the stages were like both of them are pretty linear for the most part and the only ones that are wide in this game are only because it's meant it's not really designed for Sonic like we'll get to it but um a specific stage that will be coming up later is a knuckle stage as well and it really doesn't feel like it fits Sonic at all but yeah that's gonna be for a little while yeah not bad unfortunately I can't hear the game very well because if I had the volume up then it would be causing a massive amounts of massive amounts of echo so hey you can thank me for that <laughs> So, it gives you guys, it makes it so you guys can watch it, watch a higher quality video, I guess, um, while I have to put up with barely any sound. I can still hear it to a degree, but since I'm going to be talking a lot, I can barely hear anything. It's just kind of like... But yeah. But yeah, uh... May as well, like, bring this up while we're here, because, yeah, cutscenes. 
Yeah, uh, they're really... I don't know, st is stiff the right word to... Stiff stiff animations, I, is that the right word to use here? I don't, I don't know, but either way, the animations... Well, the cutscene anima animations... The cutscenes, just in general, just use stock animations, and it really doesn't look very good. Like, <laughs> yeah, it, the, the uh, voice acting is... I like the voices themselves, but the direction, it, it, it's not the best, but, you know, I can't harp on it too much because it's the first full 3D Sonic game, and it was the first game that had, first Sonic game, rather, that had full voice acting, to my knowledge, so I can't harp on it too much, but I think it was a decent start, to say the least, like, during the time this game came out, not a lot of games had, like, full cutscenes with voice acting or anything like that, I... Don't think that wasn't really the the norm uh, until like what games like Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, Metal Gear Solid, and all that. And even then, from my knowledge, Metal Gear Solid doesn't have a lot of animation. So, you know, there you go. But um, yeah, the the voices aren't the best. Like they're very cheesy. The dialogue isn't <laughs> the greatest Sonic. either. But again, it's a decent start for the series. I will say that I do prefer the uh, DX designs to the Dreamcast ones because in um, in the the Dreamcast version, they to me I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but to me they just kind of feel like they kind of just look like plushies of themselves, um, especially like uh, Sonic and uh, or Sonic especially. That's like the one that stands out the most. Um, Amy kind of. Um, I don't really remember the others, like, Tails as well. Um, Eggman, or Robotnik in this game's case, kind of. He calls himself, this is the last time he refers to himself as Robotnik. But, um, yeah, in terms of his, in terms of his case, this is the, the Dreamcast and DX versions really aren't too different for, for his design. But yeah, I just prefer the, gen, the designs for DX in, in as opposed to the Dreamcast version, because they look more... I, I, I don't want to say realistic, but they look more like they should. Like, Sonic looks like Sonic, I guess. It's kind of weird to explain, but they actually look like the characters instead of looking like a plushie or something. And we just kind of wrecked the egg corner. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, we'll, we'll be seeing that guy, hey, this guy again, in guy. full force of Tales story, Tales of story, because you can't skip him like that in that uh, in Tale for Tales. But yeah, oh man, it it does feel really good to do this game again because if you don't know, if you're like a modern subscriber or modern viewer well, uh, so this was hard. one of the first n not the first but it was one of the early lbs i did and i don't remember i don't honestly don't remember that much from it but it does feel good to go back to a game that i did years back and i mean years back like probably four at least four years ago probably yeah <laughs> Oh no, isn't that the same monster I saw the other day? So yeah, that's basically the plot, plot of this game. Uh, Eggman is just going around trying to get the Chaos Emeralds to uh, feed and feed them to Chaos so he gets bigger and stronger, I guess. Also, I, I like how it looks like Eggman has a disembodied head. Honestly, I don't like the sound of Robotnik Land. It just, it doesn't have a ring to it. Like Eggman Land, I I like I prefer Eggman Land. Uh, if there are any like people that prefer Robotnik Land, that's fine, but I just don't think it has the same ring to it. But that's just me. 
It's up to us to get the emeralds before Eggman does, huh? Huh? I love Sometimes the voice acting is just f hilariously bad. <laughs> like, it, it's not like... I, I don't know if I... It, it's... It's more entertaining, like, the story is more entertaining than 06, but the... The, uh... Voice acting the, itself, like, it's kind of on the same level. Like, not exactly. They're diff- They're kind of mediocre in different senses, like... Uh, 06 had bad, uh bad voice acting in general but uh, this game the vo the voices are good i feel but it's the um what was it the um so, some i don't know it's kind of weird to explain um 